So what about relative risk reduction versus absolute reduction when it comes to statins? So I think people don't understand the difference between primary prevention and secondary prevention. In secondary prevention, which means you've already had a heart attack or stroke, statins absolutely reduce risk of having a second one or a third one or dying of a heart attack or stroke by something like anywhere from like 30 to like 90% when stacked on with other uh, medications, but the lipid lowering alone usually accounts for at least 90% of that total risk reduction. People are asking, well, what about in primary prevention? People who've never had a heart attack or stroke, the absolute risk reductions are like 0.3 or 0.9, 1.3, 1.8, 3%, something like that, whereas the relative reduction is still like 28, 25, 30, 35%. Um, so they're saying, well, why should I care about it if the risk reduction is only 3%? Well, if you look at a population of 350 million people, if you can reduce the incidence of the first heart attack, the first stroke, or death from heart attack or stroke by 3% total,